first time that I saw Morgan, I knew there was something special about her. Truly the most sincerely genuine person when it came to other people's feelings. I had never met someone who I felt put my best interests ahead of their own. She was unlike anyone I had ever met. My Morgan, from the moment I met you, I knew you were special. Not only did you understand me as a person, you were the perfect compliment to make my life feel fulfilled. You see, my, you see past my faults, my shortcomings, and pick me up when I stumble. You are my greatest ally, my confidant, my love, and my best friend. You're genuine, sincere, caring, and loving. You allow me to face life head on, because even in the scariest moments, I know you have my back. You're my teammate, my memory maker, my everything. For all the love you have given and will continue to give, I promise to support your hopes and dreams. I will be there when life is heavy on your shoulders. I will pick you up when you are down, and I will fly with you when you are high. I'll be your number one fan, always in your corner for the rest of our lives. I love you so much. Tony and I uh, saw Morgan for the first time about six years ago. What we didn't know about Morgan that we've learned since is how big her heart is and how important friends and family are to her. Morgan, we adore you. We welcome you to the family. And I'd like to propose a toast to a long life of love and happiness. I like the most about Jamer when I first met him. He's got this charisma about him. It makes you want to get to know him. You can just tell that everybody loves him. So my favorite thing about him is that I feel a sense of calm around him and that we can probably do anything together. Jamer. <laughs> Today I'm declaring that what we've been doing for the last seven years, we'll keep doing for the rest of our lives. That's good news to me, because my life has forever changed because of you. You've been constant, you've let, you've let me love you, you've trusted me to come into your world, to know your personality, your experiences, to know the people you hold close to you, to your heart, to know your hopes and dreams. After learning all these things, I know I can love you the rest of my life. So thank you for proposing to me, thank you for bringing me to this moment because I trust your timing, I trust your actions, I vow to get carried away with you. When we get lost, I vow we'll figure it out. I'll be there to love you, to laugh with you, and I'm excited to experience life with you. For your relationship to work, it will take love. This is the core of your marriage and why you are here today. It will take trust to know that in your hearts, you truly want what is best for one another. It will take dedication to stay open to one another, to learn and to grow together. It will take faith to go forward together. Without knowing exactly what the future brings, you will remain together committed to one another, and it will take that commitment to hold true to the journey you both have pledged today. That being said, by the power vested in me, by the colorful state of Colorado, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Jamer, you may kiss your bride.
organ. I say this now, and I can say it so wholeheartedly. My heart is so full. For those of you who have had people who marry their dream person, there's nothing on earth that makes a parent more proud.